Let's balance the equation for H2S plus O2, hydrogen sulfide plus oxygen gas. We'll also look at the states. So there are two ways that you can balance this equation here. Let's look at the first way. I've already counted up all of the atoms. Do be careful because we have one oxygen here and two here. So you have three total oxygens in the product side. Once we've counted the atoms, we can see we have three oxygens in the products, two in the reactants. Everything else is the same. So I'm thinking two times some number, that's going to equal three. Two times three over two, that would equal three because two would cancel out. We'd have three. Three over two would be our coefficient and we'd be done. This equation is balanced. The coefficients are one, three over two, one, one. If you wanted whole number coefficients, you just multiply each coefficient by two. So we have two times the one, that's two, two times three over two, twos cancel out. We have three, two times the one here, two times the one, two. So these are the coefficients, two, three, two, two. So that's the first way you could do this. The second way is a little more involved, but it still works. Let's give that a try. Here, what I'd like to do is get this three to an even number. So if I put a two here, two times two, that'll give me four hydrogens. Let's update the oxygens. One times two plus the two here, that gives us four. Now we could fix the hydrogens by putting a two in front of the H2S. Two times two, that gives us four hydrogens. One times two, that would give us two sulfurs. Okay, we're almost there. If we put a two in front of the SO2, the sulfur dioxide, one times two, those are balanced. Let's fix the oxygens here. Two times one is two, plus two times the two, that's four. So now we have six. Easy to fix though, we put a three here, two times three, that gives us six. We're done. This is balanced. And these are the same coefficients as before. This is the same ratio, two, three, two, two. If you want to write the states, everything here should be a gas. This is an exothermic reaction, so the water would be hot. That would make it a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with two ways to balance the equation H2S plus O2 yields H2O plus SO2. Thanks for watching.